Hi everybody, this is Mirav and today I'm going to explain about the Mega Menu of Socialize. Mega Menu is just one of many great features that come with the T3 framework that we use to create uh, Socialize. So let's take a look on the front end and then I'm going to explain how it's done on the back end. So as you can see, if I go and hover over some menu items, you can see that some of them are pretty cool. They have like menu on the left and then some image on the right and that image is actually a module. Take a look at the first item. The first item has a module that is the event module of Jump Social. You can see it here and you can see it here. You actually don't have to have it in both places but just for the sake of presentation this is how I created it. So you have the menu on the left and you have a module on the right and you can have as many columns as you want. This is just the way you set it up on the back end. And here's a simple menu with no columns, so just one, no more columns. This one is the same. This one has a video tutorial next to it. So all these things on the right side are modules that you can add on Mega Menu. Let's take a look at the back end. If you go and open the Socialize template and you go to Navigation, you can see that you have to choose Navigation tab, Mega Menu. Don't choose Joomla module if you want to enjoy all these cool features. So now that Mega Menu is selected, make sure you save if it's not already saved. And now go and open the Mega Menu settings. And it's going to ask you which menu you want to use. By default it's going to be the main menu and that's how I leave it. If you want to choose a different menu, choose any of the other menus. Now here you can see all your menus, menu items, but you can't see their sub-menu items. If you click on them, however, you will see the sub-menu item. In this case, we also have something else on the right. This is a module. So let's first of all take a look at what's going on in the outmost box that we have here. If we click on it, you can see that the box size is 600. If you want to add another row to the box, all you have to click is plus and it will add this row and you can enter anything you want, for example, another module. Okay, you can add it right here. Okay, so this is a little tricky. If you want to remove the, the row that you just added, you need to press the minus button here, which is confusing because it says add remove column, it doesn't say add remove rows, okay? But just keep that in mind. Okay, so we remove that extra row because we don't need it right now. And what you see here on the right is the module that we added. Let's see how it's, do, how it's done. We're going to just remove it first and then we're going to add it again. Right now you see that you have the big box, you have the menu in it, now, if you want to add another, if you not want to add another row, you click on the outside box and you click plus. If you want to add another column, you click on the inside box and click plus. Okay, that will add another column. You can even add another column. Now you have three columns, and you can put different things inside those columns. You can put any module that you have. For example, if I want to add one here, all I have to do is choose which module I want to add. If I want to add it here, I can choose any module I want to add. No problem. Okay? If you want to remove it, click on it. Just click on the outside frame here. Alright? Right here. Click minus. It's gone. If you want to change the module, just click and choose another module. And that's it. Okay, if you want to remove completely, click minus and now you have the entire menu just for the menu items. Now, as you can see, it's too wide. So if you want to make it less wide, click on the outside box and choose a different number, let's say 300. Now that's better. Even 250 will be better than this. Okay. And if you click on any of the other menu items, you can see they're all already set up. If you want to add, well, let's do it again, if you want to add another column, you click not on the outside box, but on the inside box, click on it, and click plus. But remember, you have to make the outside box bigger to fit everything. So you click on it, and you choose the size. Okay, 
Remember, you have the outside box and the inside box. The outside box is for the entire box width, and if you want to add a row. The inside box is if you want to add a column or remove a column, and also to set the size, the width of each element. In this case, this is the menu item. We can choose four, we can choose five, whatever we want. Okay? So pretty much that's all there is to it with the mega menu. It's a little tricky, it takes a little bit of time to use to it. Just get just remember that you have a, there's a difference between the outside frame here and the inside frame. Okay? This is it. Thanks for watching.